Hey guys, welcome to Davos video. If you haven't seen our other videos, go ahead and check them out. Today we're going to be going over the back button. Let's get started. All right, so the back button's pretty simple. So you can see here so far in our Wikidpad reference tutorial that we're helping you build your own Wikidpad reference with the top 27 or so items that you should know. We have gone over alignment, and anchors thus far. So let's go to the back button. So the back button is a pretty convenient tool when your wiki d-pad starts to get pretty complex and you just need to go back to whatever page you were just on. Let me hear and show you what that looks like. All right, so you can see here it becomes a linked back button. What this does is it keeps track of what was the last page that you were on in your wiki. So my last page would be the holy crap page. So if I click back, boom. Holy crap. So here on my holy crap page, I'm also gonna add a back button, left bracket, colon, R-E-L, I believe that stands for relative, and then colon, back, right bracket. And you can see this goes into a kind of a grayed out color. That means that the link is working and it's functional. So we go back to our preview mode and voila, we have our back button. Click on that again, and it takes us back to where we were. For the purpose of this tutorial, I also added a back button up here right underneath our table of contents. So let's go ahead, we'll click back, go into the holy crap, this is complicated. When I hit back again, rather than taking us to our 3.0 back button header, this should take us directly back to the table of contents. So the back button doesn't only take you back to the page that you were on, it also takes you back to that page relative to where you left the page. So if I leave the page here or down here, that's where it's gonna take me. So here, let's look at anchors, holy crap, click on back, and boom, we're right back where we were. Pretty convenient thing to have. A lot of people like to put these up at the top of their page. Let's go here. Let's go ahead and align that to the right side of our page. Boom, and there's our back button. So that is our back button. Pretty simple, guys. So here, let's type it in. We're gonna do a backslash left bracket r e l colon back right bracket and here you can see with the backward slash the back button no longer shows up as a back button you can see the code here and you can view it in preview mode in your wiki reference i hope that helped you guys let us know comment below we'll catch you next time